So that's what happens. Anytime you allow your phone to get seriously hot or you're charging and using, charging and playing games with it, using it inside a very hot environment and the phone starts to heat, what you're doing is, uh, ma, you are destroying your battery by speeding up the chemical reactions inside, thereby shortening its lifespan, causing the electrolytes inside to degrade, to go bad, and then release gases, which the same thing again, you're reducing the battery capacity and you're causing the release of gases, which will then make the battery to turn out to be like this, way faster than it's supposed to be. Okay. Hello guys, welcome to another video. As usual, my name is Jeffrey. You know who I am, you know me. If you don't know me, well, if you're new, welcome to the channel. My name is Jeffrey. This is Inquisitive Universe and we talk about everything that have got to do with smartphones, not just smartphones, smartphone accessories as well, and other stuff, gaming, photography, etc, etc. So if you're new here, please do make sure to stay. Watch the video and then stay. If you like what you see, there's no problem, you can stay. If, I, if I'm not getting across to you or get some topics you want me to talk about, then please make sure to leave comments so I can be able to cater to you as well so welcome in today's video i'm going to be talking about something that is actually common bulging batteries batteries that whoo, swell yeah this one is actually mine uh, it's no fault of mine this is as a result of old age yeah i've had this power bank for this is the mi2c i've had it for about four years and the inevitable happened one day i woke up and it you know the casing had popped open because of the battery that was swelling inside Technically, this is a fire hazard, but I'm keeping it for this video before throwing it away. So I want to do this video so that um, people understand how this happen, why they happen, and what you can do. As always, I always tell people who come around that I'm, I'm, I'm not one of those big guys. I'm one of you. I mean, I'm just I'm just opportune to be able to make. Don't worry, when we get to a thousand followers, uh, subscribers rather, I'm going to show you the whole setup. So we'll get there. But I, want, I live amongst people and I want to show you how these things happen. And how you can take care of yourself and you know understand how everything works that's why it's inquisitive universe we're inquisitive here so i was coming at the angle when i was making this video when i was writing this video i was coming at the angle of power bank batteries but regardless of what we say here a power bank battery is basically a lithium a, a giant lithium ion battery that's what it is it is the same lithium ion battery that you find here that you'd find in any other power bank or on any other smartphone or even on something as trivial as a rechargeable lantern basically so all lithium ion batteries, whether they are lithium ion, whether they are lithium polymer, whether they are, whether they are graphene, they all work the same way, which means the battery is divided into two half cells. One side is positive, one side is negative. The current is stored on the negative side of the battery. So when you connect the battery to the load, it's going to current electrons which are stored inside the paste. There is a paste inside the battery, electrolyte paste. The electrons that are stored inside the paste will escape out of the negative part of the battery, the anode now, power up the load, and then they'll come back in to the positive side, the cathode side. Now, for you to recharge the battery, what you're going to do is simply reverse the polarity of the battery by plugging in a charger and boom, all the battery that has gone to the positive side will flow all the way back out to the negative side, to the anode. And then when you take out the charger, the polarity goes back and then the same thing happens again. Over time, it's a reversible reaction, a redox reaction basically. So when you need to, when your battery is full, all of the current is in the anode side and then they flow powering up the gadget and then they go to the other side to the positive side and then when you recharge it it flows out of the positive side back i've already done a video about this you can check the top of the screen there you'd see that i've already covered this topic just that lots of people didn't already care about you know understanding how their batteries work i wonder why now this happens you know consistently so long as you're using the battery with every charge cycle use recharge use recharge your battery grows older whether you like it or not. Now, <clears throat> as the battery grows older or as you continue to use your power bank or your battery device or whatever, the process no longer completes itself. It, it no longer becomes a complete chemical reaction because it's a chemical reaction, whether you like it or not. The process no longer completes. Over time, some electrons will get lost. Some electrons will not find their way home, basically. And not just that, the electrolyte paste itself inside the battery where the electrons have been stored is going to over, you know, you know it's going to go through some changes over time which would make it not itself not very capable of holding the electrons anymore so as that happens you start to notice that your battery capacity begins to get lower that's usually the first sign then the culminating sign the sign that ends everything up is as the electrolyte paste continues to age it begins to release gases and these gases start to build up when there is enough build up of gases the battery expands and if you continue to use that battery as it's expanded, 
one day the casing of the lithium ion or the lithium polymer battery or the power bank will not be able to hold it anymore and then the first thing you usually see is this happening the battery popping up you know popping up the cover or the casing of the power bank this is step one step two the battery is going to go boom eventually when there's enough pressure caused by the gases that have been released inside the battery so if you want to know why batteries well that's it over time, the battery ages, that's the electrolyte paste inside ages and starts to release gases as a result of the chemical reactions that go on into the battery when you use it and then when you charge it because of the flow of electrons from the positive side to the negative side and then back you know, to the negative side. So when these gases build up, they are going to be trapped inside the battery until there's a lot of gases and then the battery expands. So this is the end point of all batteries. You cannot escape it. All batteries, especially those of the lithium ion, I think it happens to other batteries with like the ones from the cadmium, cadmium batteries and the, and the like, but it's still the same thing. <coughs> Excuse me. All lithium ion batteries are going to end up like that. There are no two ways about it. It's just the way it is. Now, the thing here is that this process can happen over the length of a battery's life. Like my power bank I just showed you now, four years or it could happen in half or even more than half the time. It could happen in six months, it could happen in a year, it could happen in two years, but that shouldn't really be the case. So I'm trying now, the point of this video now is to make you understand how, I think you understand the how and the why it's happened. So what can you do to make sure that your batteries, even though they are going to end up like this, but you want them to live, you know, I mean, human beings can live up till a hundred, but we can also die at age one, it's possible. Sometimes we can even die in the womb more or less age one so how can you yes we know human beings can die at any time but how can you prolong your life so you can live all the way up there that's basically what i'm trying to say here i don't know forgive my explanation it's the best i could come up with on the spur of the moment so how can you make your battery live for you know what should be its supposed full lifetime now many people actually make their batteries live shorter than they should because of the following things i'm going to name them there's five things the first one is um overcharging the second one is overcurrent the third one is extreme temperatures there's two now uh, let me check my notes uh, <laughs> physical damage and poor build quality so i'm going to go over it again overcharging overcurrent extreme temperature uh physical damage and poor build quality those are those crickets annoy me those are the five main reasons i'm going to explain them very quickly so as not to waste your time overcharging overcharging is when you charge your power bank too much it's at 100 when it's full unplug it most people completely refuse to do so so what then happens all of the electrons will flow over to the anode side and then they would put so much pressure on that part of the battery which then speeds up the chemical reaction in that part of the battery which is not supposed to be so whenever you speed up basically all of this stuff i've just mentioned they all contribute to speeding up the chemical reactions inside of a battery and then it will cause the release of gases which will then mess up not just the electrolyte but will also cause gases to you know to pop out of the electrolyte which will then lead to reduced battery capacity and battery swelling the second one is over current when you put way too much load on a battery than it's able to carry that's the second one then the third one of course is um extreme temperature charging or using your battery under extreme temperature for those people who did chemistry in their secondary school high school or in a college for example you would know quite well well enough right god this cricket's annoying me okay that should black out your noises a bit so those people who did chemistry a bit would understand that when you add heat to a chemical reaction it basically speeds it up so that's what happens anytime you allow your phone to get seriously hot or you're charging and using charging and playing games with it using it inside a very hot environment and the phone starts to heat what you're doing is sa uh, ma you are destroying your battery by speeding up the chemical reactions inside thereby shortening its lifespan causing the electrolytes inside to degrade to go bad and then release gases which the same thing again you're reducing the battery capacity and you're causing the release of gases which will then make the battery to turn out to be like this way faster than it's supposed to be which is quite sad number four physical damage dropping your battery from a high point not just that um, not just dropping it, you could put it, you know, people put it in their back pocket and they sit on it or they are traveling, they put it in their bag and you don't want to do that. That, that's, that you could, that's physically messing with the battery components and it's chemistry. There are lots of stuff in there we don't understand. 
right? You don't want some components to touch some components or to tear some components or to, you know, puncture some components, which could result in disaster. So the last one is the poor build quality. Now, when you buy power banks or when you buy batteries or when you buy battery power devices, please, uh, yes, money is hard and you don't, I understand. And um, so people would be like, bro, you're a YouTuber, you have, no, <laughs> YouTube hasn't paid me a kobo. I have to, I have to go out and, you know, into the streets and walk like everybody else. It's just, I'm just like, I'm making videos in my free time. This, this is, this is past 1 a.m. I don't know if you can see it's past 1 a.m. Right? So this is the only time I can make this. So I understand the money part. Believe me, I do. But you have to buy quality, not something that has a pure, it's, I always say this, I can never, I can never in good faith recommend most of the homegrown brands here. I don't want to call their names, but they start with an O and a T and an N. Those are three different brands I've just named. I think there's another one which starts with an S. Okay. I can never recommend them purely because I have handled them. I've seen their build quality compared to the ones from, I don't want to call Romos. Those of you saw the previous video know what I said about Romos. I don't want to mention them, but you have to make sure that you are buying from a very good manufacturer that produces a good solid quality with an excellent track record. That way you can be rest assured that I'm buying this and it's going to, it's going to serve me active use three, four years and so on and so forth. So with that, I've come to the end of this video. I do not want to take your time. I'm sorry I spent a lot more time than I planned to, but I wanted to explain myself as usual. My name is Jeffrey. Thank you for coming. Please, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, make sure to share, and then make sure to refer people over. It's word of mouth referrals like this that will help the channel grow. Thank you very much for coming. As always, I'm always accessible. You can hit me up here in the comments. I always reply as soon as I can, or as soon as I see the notification, or you can hit me up on Telegram at Inquisitive Universe, or also on Messenger at Inquisitive Universe as well. Thank you very much for coming. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.